Well, a massive project years in the making was presented to the public this morning at the Idaho Veterans Cemetery in Boise. A statue titled, I Will Have Your Back Always, depicting two American warriors from two eras, was unveiled at the final resting place for the men and women of Idaho who served our nation. Former Idaho Governor Dirk Kempthorne and his wife Patricia spearheaded the effort, while sculptor Ben Victor brought it to life. KTVB photojournalist Paul Belke was there, and he brings us this. Today, as we stand here and recognize the sacrifice and service of those who've given their all, we pray that this memorial be a constant reminder to us that freedom is bought with the greatest price. It's an opportunity for us to reflect back on our fellow service members uh, who have fallen, uh, for our near misses of those who almost fell, and to use that as an opportunity to reconnect to our commitment that we have made to our fellow citizens and the United States of America. We must always make a commitment to honor our military members past and present letting them know that we, the people, will always have their back. As you look upon the young man kneeling with his hands clasped tightly in prayer around the dog tags of the fallen, he perpetually looks out on the graves of the fallen which lie before him. And we see the soul of the veterans and the heart of our military members, a heart for one another and a bond that cannot be broken by time, by space, or even by our imminent mortality. As you walk around the sculpture, you see a young woman standing with her hand placed on his back. She turns out and looks toward the flag, a symbol of honor, duty, and respect. Beyond the flag, she gazes out upon our valley, the place so many Idahoans call home, and the place where we enjoy the freedoms gained by the sacrifices that reside in this sacred cemetery. One other thing I want to tell you about these two warriors that is unlike, I believe, any other statues in the world, and that is within each of them is a heart, a bronze heart. It is in the shape of the purple heart that George Washington designed. Within this bronze purple heart, which is hollowed out, is sacred soil. This has soil from major battlefields of the United States of America from its very beginning. This is the DNA of America that will reside forever in the hearts of those warriors. These two sentinels now stand watch for the ages where comrades in arms lie in eternal rest and their souls reside with God. In God we trust, esto perpetua, may it be forever. 